Frozen shoulder, also known as adhesive capsulitis, is characterized by pain, stiffness, and limited range of motion in the shoulder joint. It is prevalent among women in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. Research points to a significant association between frozen shoulder and menopause, suggesting that hormonal changes may play a crucial role in the development of this condition. Frozen shoulder is a disorder in which the shoulder joint becomes stiff and painful, often progressing through three distinct stages. Freezing stage, gradual onset of pain and increasing stiffness, lasting from six weeks to nine months. Frozen stage, stiffness remains, but pain may diminish. This stage can last four to 12 months. Thawing stage, shoulder motion slowly improves with complete recovery possible within six months to two years. Hormonal changes during menopause may contribute to the onset or exacerbation of frozen shoulder. Estrogen is known to play a role in maintaining the elasticity of connective tissues. The decline in estrogen during menopause may cause connective tissues, including those in the shoulder, to become stiffer, less flexible, and more prone to injury or inflammation. Menopause is associated with a mild chronic inflammatory state. Higher levels of inflammatory markers in the body may contribute to joint disorders. Hormonal shifts can alter collagen metabolism, affecting the strength and resilience of ligaments and joint capsules. Studies suggest that HRT with estrogen may help maintain connective tissue health, potentially reducing the risk or severity of frozen shoulder.